A mural of Queen Elizabeth II in Sydney's Inner West has been painted over with the colors of the Aboriginal flag. The piece of street art near Sydenham train station was painted by British artist Stuart Sale following the late monarch's death earlier this month. Images of the mural taken on Thursday morning, Australia's National Day of Mourning for the Queen, show it has been painted over with the colors of the Aboriginal flag. Read more, Queen represented more than the monarchy, says PM the painting had earlier been defaced with what was described as a horrible epithet, which was later tidied up by the public. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, Sale said he was tossing up weather to keep the portrait up. It belongs to the people in a way and that's why I'm torn, he told the Herald. I've painted this and given it to the street. The reaction to Elizabeth II's passing for many First Nations people was not always one of mourning. Instead it involved criticism and reflection on the impact and legacy of British colonialism in Australia. Read more, man stabbed nine times at birthday drinks in Sydney's West Those differing reactions were acknowledged by Governor-General David Hurley during Thursday morning's National Memorial Service in Canberra. In considering the unifying role Her Majesty played, it acknowledged that her passing has prompted different reactions for some in our community, he said. I'm conscious to respect that many First Nations Australians shaped by the colonial history have brought a reconciliation journey. That is a journey we as a nation must complete. London born Sale told the SMH he is not a massive royalist, and has previously said he is generally not a political artist. Many of his murals have included pop culture references and characters. Read more popular women's fashion label witchery targeted an online scam. He was, however, responsible for a 2015 painting of two indigenous boys standing next to a half mast Aboriginal flag, as well as a memorial to George Floyd in 2020. I need to feel very strongly about a subject in order to take part in the conversation, like I did with these two works," he told Neighborhood Media. I'm not a social or political artist as such and only pipe up if I'm upset about something. That said I don't actually say much as I find it difficult to put my thoughts or feelings onto a page or say them, even. I communicate better visually, I guess, so a poignant artwork can say a thousand words like those two pieces do for obvious reasons.